Welcome to Organizational Transformation. Our company has many customer contracts ranging from handling and transportation to aerospace contracts. From the conception of our program and after many years we can proudly say we have a wonderful relationship with our customer today. Our company business strategy has been simply to give 110% to meet our needs of our customers and demands. We not only meet those needs and demands, we exceed them. Not some of them, but all of them. Our project is a very large project, and there were four major areas that span across the United States. The project has four training organizations to support each major area, Washington State, California, Georgia, and Florida. These are indicated by the red stars you see in the map. Each training area had a complete organizational structure consisting of a manager, training link, and several instructors. Now we know about the past, let's talk about the future, changing the organizational structure. A customer informed us in 2010 that our training budget was going to be reduced due to cutbacks due to the economy's conditions of the country at that particular time. Our customer also informed us that we would have to support the same work but at a lower cost. Our customer also said if this cannot be accomplished, then we will have to look at another alternative to support the training for the project. To keep the project and remain more competitive, the company had to restructure the training organizations from four training organizations to one training organization, like a one-stop shopping for our customer. The new organization had to have one central location, so a location had to be chosen, and the Georgia location was chosen due to the low overhead costs. Since now there was one chosen central location, there had to be a change from four managers to one senior manager. This was a major organizational change and an assistant manager had to be selected. The assistant manager's job role was to assist the senior manager. Another role was to coordinate all training from the remote sites and to inform the senior manager of any challenges. The new strategy consisted of five things. One, to schedule the training in the now called remote sites. Two, establish a new organizational structure incorporating the remote sites. Three, to review and consolidate training courses to eliminate redundant training and to update training courses. Four, to incorporate new technology into the new organization. And five, to monitor the progress to successful completion. The company offered the other three managers to stay at their former location as a site manager from which they accepted. The role changed from organizational manager to a training manager for those sites. In their new role, they were to schedule the necessary training for that particular site and coordinate with the assistant manager to select a method of training. The organization change was to incorporate an assistant manager's position to aid in the multitasking of training projects, plus assist the remote sites in scheduling training for their site. Part of the new strategy was to review, consolidate the training courses, and eliminate the redundant training, and of course, to update the courses. To reduce the travel budget, the new strategy incorporated web-based computer data systems to all remote locations. In addition to the new technology included a new technology called Distance Learning System, DLS. Courses that could not be converted to a web-based training module was converted to a DLS type of training. The DLS system uses satellite technology which allows the instructor-led training courses to be broadcast to remote sites simultaneously. Monitoring the progress. The new strategy required employees who were located at the remote sites to relocate to the Georgia site. This caused some resentment among the seasoned instructors, but the majority relocated without a problem. The ones who did not relocate either found employment in other departments or just plain retired. The other issue was instructors who have worked for years together at the remote sites were now required to work together at the Georgia location. This did cause some friction because they had to relearn some new learning techniques with the fellow instructors because of new technology. But working with the management team, they embraced the new technology as time went on. Here we are at the summary and lessons learned slide. The summary of the course is, the new organization structure change was a major change for the training department. Many new training personnel were hired to replace the training personnel who have left the new training organization. This change saved millions of dollars over the past nine years and counting. The new technology was introduced, redundant training was eliminated, and the quality of training was increased. 
Now, some of the lessons learned was that the communication within a group could have been better during the organizational change. Some felt that the older instructors were not given any other alternatives. Basically, it was to move, adapt to the new change, or just leave. And, of course, there was not much time to relocate the employees' families. I hope you enjoyed the training module. You can now exit the training module by clicking the exit button on your right-hand corner. Thank you.